welcome back to my channel it's yet another beautiful beautiful day and today guys i'm going to show you how we remove maize kennels from the maize cob here in the village at least uh we have like two ways to do that the manual way or by using the machine today i'm going to show to show you how we remove that using the machine so guys this is my the machine that you're going to use and uh, this is the, our maze like um, they charge a hundred shillings that is a dollar per sack after the maize these kennels have been removed from the maize kobe so you can see how it looks like inside this is where we'll be pouring the maize and it will be coming from down there also this it will be coming from here and also guys this machine uses diesel actually so this is the tank this is the diesel tank uh, you can see they are putting some diesel i don't know if it's, it's diesel or petrol they are putting inside so that we can start the work here so most many people prefer using this method because like removing by hands may take a lot of time or many days and it's a lot of work so by doing this this machine actually makes work easier so let me show you how we do it The maize cobs are coming from here, the cobs, and this method, what I can tell you guys, it's easier than using your hands.
after all that guys we are not going to throw anything from here there is no waste absolutely none as you're going to use these cobs for cooking uh we dry them up completely uh under the sun and we use them as firewood later on also as i told you earlier they charge a hundred shillings per pack per sack that is and they measure after you it's done after the maize is removed from the cob you can see like the sack has to be full it has to be full 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 and we have like a specific type of sack that we are using this specifically this kind you cannot use the bigger sacks so we are still not done but we are almost done <music> So as you can see guys it has to be full completely the sack so because actually when you dry it up it reduces in size yeah so you have to make sure the sack is full like very very full guys before sun drying the cobs uh, we have to make sure like uh we check there's nothing remaining on them and there's small corn or maize that is remaining on them we have to make sure like we get rid of all of that we remove it from the corn from the cob because we are not wasting anything nothing goes to waste <laughs> This is the next process. Uh, we we sun dry them here at the sun. And after guys, actually, because we harvest like large portions of maize, uh, you have to step on top of them for you to spread them evenly, even when you're spraying. Because later on, when you're taking to the portion mill, you can actually wash and sun dry again uh in small portions when you're taking it to the portion mill depending on the portion you want you know so this is how we do things here in the village so these ones you're going to leave them here for about a week or two and after that you're going to store the maize in the house and being a luya ugali is actually our staple food over here so we do large-scale farming especially for maize or corn because ugali is like a signature meal here and you just ask around about luyas and yeah so this is how we do this is the whole process guys maybe in future i'll show you how we harvest maize but this is basically what we do Thank you so much guys for watching this video to this part. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe to my channel. Join this family and let's grow together. Thank you so much guys. Bye and see you on our next video.